This video will cover installing a grounded three-prong plug onto a self-regulating heat cable. The tools you will need for this project is an electric or propane heat gun, a tape measure, a butt splice crimping tool, a needle nose pliers, a wire stripper, a straight blade or electrician's knife, as well as electrical tape. On the plug end side, cut back both the white and black wires to two and a quarter inches and strip one quarter of an inch off of the insulation. Measure back two and three eighths inches from the end, score the outer jacket and remove the outer jacket exposing the ground braid. Using a needle nose pliers or other blunt instrument, unbraid the ground braid all the way back to the score mark. Twist the ground braid on one side so that it becomes one continuous strip of wire. Measure one inch from the outer jacket score line and remove the remaining inch and three eighths from the inner insulating jacket so that you have an inch and three eighths of exposed core and one inch of the inner insulating jacket remains. Carefully trim away the outer conductive core along the edge of the bus wire, uh, taking great care not to nick or cut the bus wires uh, while doing this. Using a tin snips or other type of snips, cut a small notch toward the bus wire from the center of the conductive core, exposing the bus wires so that they can be pulled out of the inner conductive core, uh, pulling all the way back to that one inch score line uh, so that these wires can be used. Trim back remaining inner conductive core flush with the bus wires, uh, leaving approximately an inch and three eighths of the bus wires left uh, for the next step. Slip the one eighth inch heat shrink tubes over the bus wires and it may help to twist the ends a little bit uh, so that it's one continuous piece of wire leaving approximately a quarter to three-eighths of an inch of bus wire exposed. Using an electric or propane heat torch or heat gun, heat shrink uh, the eighth inch tubes securely to the bus wires until you see hot melt oozing out. Next, slide over the half inch heat shrink tube that is approximately an inch and a half long and slide that up to the ground braid score. Using your electric or propane heat gun, uh, fully shrink the heat shrink tube until it is tight, secure, and hot melt is oozing out of both ends. Using a needle nose pliers, uh, pinch the area in between both bus wires and hold for 20 seconds to create a separation between both bus wires. Twist bus wires secure and slide a butt splice over each of them on the heat cable side first and using a butt splice crimping tool, crimp the heat cable side wires first so that both uh, heat cable crimps are secured in place. Now proceeding to the plug end side, uh, sliding over the stripped wires uh, toward the plug, uh, slide on the first, the longer piece of uh, the heat shrink tubing and then the shorter piece will follow it. So the shorter piece is going to be closer to the line splice. Now crimp the black wire to one side of the heat cable bus wire and crimp the white wire to the other side, making sure that all crimps are secure. A tug test is always a good idea, but don't tug too hard so you don't fully disengage the bus wire from the crimp. Fold the ground portion of the plug side back and push the shorter uh, three inch, three quarter inch wide heat shrink tubing uh, over uh, the top of that and over the butt splice assembly. Apply heat until this inner heat shrink tube is fully shrunk uh, to size and hot melt is protruding out of both sides. Strip off the insulation on the ground braid so that you expose two inches of ground wire. Starting at the heat cable ground braid side, slide the heat cable uh, ground braid crimp 
uh, over the ground braid with the flared side pointing toward the plug ground and then slide the plug ground in making contact with the uh, heat cable ground braid and then you're ready for crimping. With a crimping tool make a series of crimps so that both the plug ground and the heat cable ground braid are fully crimped together. Wrap the entire ground assembly so that all grounds, ground braids, and ground crimps are fully covered so that there are no sharp edges that can poke through the heat shrink outer jacket. Slide the longer heat shrink tube over the entire assembly, balancing it out between uh, overlapping on the cable side as well as on the plug end side. And heat shrink till it's fully shrunk, being careful not to sear it, and hot melt is oozing out of both sides. Hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.